General VK Singh's questioning of Lieutenant General Suhag's appointment as the Army Chief Designate has left the Congress demanding Singh's resignation. In a clear message, the Defence Minister Arun Jaitley has said that the appointment of Army Chief is final and it should be kept out of the realm of politics. While the Congress has welcomed the Defence Minister's statement, the party is now building pressure on VK Singh to step down. UPA government had made the appointment of the next army chief some weeks ago. It's been a practice in this country that we keep some issues outside the realm of uh, inter-party politics and therefore keeping the various standards of political maturity, statecraft in mind. All of us, not only the government, but all of us must keep the army and its appointments out of this arena and stand by the appointment. The government, the present government also is fully defending that appointment. Issues which are sub really can't be discussed in this house itself. As far as the comments uh, against one of the ministers is concerned, I would urge that this issue directly, indirectly, or even collaterally may not be raised for the reason that if one of the major political parties chooses to attack a minister, then the minister may consider defending himself. Therefore, that's an area which is wholly outside. But as far as the government is concerned, the appointment is final and the government fully stands by it. Thank you very much. Chief tweets yesterday and statements made by a serving minister, Minister of Independent Charge for Northeast Affairs, and Minister of State in External Affairs, Mr. V.K. Singh, making unacceptable, highly objectionable statements on the appointment of the Army Chief, understanding and maturity of the Leader of the House. When he assumed the office also as Defence Minister, he made a very correct statement which was reassuring to the country and to the Army leadership. But then a serving minister Making this statement, the government ought to remove this minister. Prime Minister must clarify. It is unacceptable. Now, General V.K. Singh has not only broken that tradition, but has also violated the directions of his Prime Minister not to make such statements. He may have personal issues with General Sohag, but he must realize that he is in the, in the cabinet of Government of India and therefore this kind of a behavior of General VK Singh is not acceptable. We join now with Deputy Leader of Opposition in the Lok Sabha, Mr. Amnidhar Singh. So first and foremost, uh, we have seen the statements that have come out from uh, former Army Chief VK Singh's side. Uh, a clear disjunction between what the government is saying and what the former Army Chief, who is now a minister in the same government, is saying. Well, I think it's, it's, it's an absolute disgrace. Not only one statement. That statement, of course, is uh, they have indicted their own minister and sent it to the Supreme Court. That's one side of the story. The other side is what he's done today in his tweeting. He has called the, com the coming Army Chief who is joining on the 1st of July, uh, uh, General Huda, he's calling, him a, he's calling him a criminal, he's calling the soldiers who work under him as decoits. Now for an ex-army chief to say these things, it's an absolute, uh, completely uh, um, absurd, absurd and absolutely un uncalled for. And I think what he should do is either quit on his own, and if he's not quit, I think the time has come for them to um, drop him from the Council of Ministers. With a reigning member of the Union Cabinet today, raising questions about an appointment which went through the due process in the government, that is not a healthy sign for any good governance. This new government has begun with such unhealthy signs, which is not acceptable. We wanted the government to clarify. The leader of the opposition, I mean the leader of the house and the parliament now, in the Raj Sabha, who is also the defense minister, has categorically said that the government stands by the decision and that is not going to be tampered with. Well, you see, I, I'm, uh, it's obviously one of these things that happen during transition, uh, especially when all your law officers have not been appointed. Uh, it is a Congress mischief. 
and uh, this uh, the draft was prepared uh, during the uh, Congress period, the UPA period, and it was it ought not to have been filed, and so the uh, usually these filings are done by clerks, so the clerks uh, have to be asked on what the authority you did, and whoever is responsible for this lapse. Uh, B.K. Singh is a yeah. minister. Apart from the minister, you know, he is questioning the very integrity of the army or the defense forces in the country. It is a very, very fundamentally a very wrong question. He would like to demoralize it. He has no business to do it. That to being in the government. You know, you say joint responsibility. One side, you know, the government has taken a decision to make him the army chief. Then another side, he say, makes all sorts of allegations. Mr. V.K. Singh seems to be embarrassing his own government also. Not only embarrassing the own government, forget about it, he is embarrassing the nation. And we have such a well-disciplined, very strong army, third largest in the world. You know, that kind of an army, you, can, you cannot afford to do that. As an opposition, what would you demand from the government? A disservice to the nation. What would you demand from the government? The government, either you ask him to behave or sack him. That's all. No comment, no comment. This affidavit that was submitted, sir? No comment. You are the deputy general at that time, sir. I am no more defense minister. I don't want to be a general.